Hello, I'm Stephen Nisbet. Welcome to this video about organ stops. It's number three in a series. The first video was about organ stop names and what they meant. The second one was on combining organ stops. And this third video is about mutation stops. Now mutation stops are not very common. They usually occur on organs as large as this, um, but they really are very useful stops. They're very interesting as well because they don't fit the normal mold of organ stops. Uh, we're used to organ stops having numbers beside them like principal 8 or diapason 8, principal 4 or flute 4. These numbers 16, 8, 4 and 2, they're all powers of 2 and they correspond to octaves on, uh, on the keyboard. But when you have numbers like 2 and 2 thirds or 1 and 3 fifths or 1 and a third, these are not octaves. So you'll come across mutation stops and the way to identify them is to look at the stops that don't have numbers like 16, 8, 4 and 2. So look at something that might have 2 and 2 thirds or 1 and a third, 1 and 3 fifths or 5 and 2 thirds. So these mutation stops, they're not octaves, they're actually playing intervals in between the octaves. Some of them are fifths and some of them are thirds. So let me just demonstrate. Here's an eight foot stop, which is the prin principal eight. There's middle C. If we have the four foot add, we get the octave above, two foot octave above that, 16, and it's the octave below. So we have a nice principal chorus. However, we can also add, let me just add, a two and two thirds. This is called the Nazard stop. And it's actually playing a G, an octave and a half above middle C. And I can also have a tears, one and three fifths. So it's up here. It's two octaves and a third above it. So the names to look for would be Nazard or tears. There's also a quint flute. If you see the, num the name quint, which means five, that's five notes above the octave. So uh, these mutation stops have got a special role, or two special roles. The first one is to fill out the chorus. So as I explained before with the 16, eight and four and two, here's the eight foot and the four foot together and the two foot. If I add the two and two thirds, a little bit more body to that chorus and if I add another one the tears one and three fifths once again a little bit more uh, more harmonics so it's filling out the chorus nicely so there's the first purpose of having mutation stops the second purpose is to make interesting melodies and as a solo so we turn these off if I have a nice eight foot flute add a four foot. If I add the mutation stop in the Nazard two and two thirds, here's a nice interesting sound. Just adding another harmonic there, which is making a very interesting sound. So let me just play something which uses that sound as a melody. another mutation stop instead of the Nazard I'll use the tears one and three fifths it's a very interesting sound a very beautiful sound now if I put a number of uh, mutation stops on with the uh, octaves as well I can get a very interesting sound that sounds a bit like a mini trumpet. So here's an eight foot, the four foot, the two and two thirds, the one and three fifths and the two foot. Put the five ranks together and we've got a cornet mixture and it's like a little, a little trumpet. we 
have uses of the mutation stops. We saw them being used uh, to fill out a chorus, adding harmonics to make it a fuller sound. And secondly, as a solo, um, they make very interesting sounds. So the mutation stops, once again, you can identify them by the ones that don't have numbers like 16, 8, 4 and 2. They have numbers like 2 and 2 thirds and 1 and 3 fifths or 1 and a third or 5 and 2 thirds those sorts of numbers and you'll see names like Quint, Nazard, Tears, uh, etc. So I hope you have learned a little bit about uh, mutation stops. If you've got an organ uh, that you can uh, have access to then look out for the mutation stops and just experiment with the sounds. See what the chorus is like first without mutation stops and then add the mutations and then try some solo um, stops have the flutes and add a mutation like the Nazard or the Tears and see what sort of sound you can get to make interesting melodies. So thank you very much for watching.